Okay, you guys, so this video is about um, pre-challenge um, measurements, so to speak, okay? So this is the longest challenge I've ever done, four to six weeks. Lasting change takes even longer than that for a lot of you. Everyone's different. Everyone is different. You cannot con compare yourself to your sister who's doing the program with you or your neighbor. You guys are all different. And the sooner you really understand that, the sooner you'll stop beating yourself up when you're not seeing the same results as they are. We're all different, genetically different, beautifully different, and we need to accept that and be patient with ourselves and be kind to ourselves. So lasting change takes time. And I care more about what you do on day 43, um, the day after the six weeks ends, or day 32, the day after four weeks ends. I care more about those days because that means if you're sticking to it, that means you are seeing the results, you're feeling the results, and you are continuing on. This isn't about, I don't want you to be healthy for four or six weeks. That's not gonna get you anywhere in life. It's not gonna get you a longer life, a longer a disease free life. Did you know that they're saying that um, people are living longer, but they're living longer with disease, that they're so miserable they'd rather die? Ah, oh my gosh, that bothers me more than you ever can know. I, I just, ah, oh, and I've actually seen this happen in my own family, you know, just. Just, and, and more my, my, you know, my grandparents and things who didn't know all this knowledge that we know now. And, and um, so, gosh, let's embrace this knowledge. And when you have the power of knowledge, I hope that will motivate you to make some of these changes, especially like for the biggest one is like no sugar. Well, why, if you understand the why, I think that'll help motivate you. And obviously that's gonna be another, um, another video. But so lasting change takes time and patience. So I care more, I really do. What is gonna happen after this challenge? If you continue, then I feel like I've been successful motivating you. If you fall off the bandwagon, um, something has happened and um, it's not, not all is lost, but, but now we gotta start kind of fresh again. So we gotta create momentum. How do you create momentum? With motivation and inspiration and seeing changes. And you have to be able to, to measure those changes for it to be motivating. So that's one of the reasons why I thought, let's do this. Let's do a pre-challenge timed workout. You're gonna record your time and your total reps, and I'll get to that in a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna demo the exercises. Um, um, and I also am asking you, if you wanna be part of a raffle, if you do these three things, and send it to me via email. You don't have to post it uh, publicly on the Facebook page, but if you send it to me privately via email, the three things I'm gonna talk about, um, then you're gonna be put in a raffle for a $25 um, e-gift card to Amazon, okay? So hopefully it's a little motivating, but I really take this seriously. I really want you to put yourself out there and do this. If you want change, you gotta step out of your comfort zone and do some of this stuff, okay? I promise. We are a judgment-free zone. I am safe. Your, your stuff will come to me and it is safe. I'm not sharing it with anyone ever, ever. This stuff, I get how personal this stuff is. And I only want you to share with me what you're comfortable with. But it's not going anywhere. It's staying with me and it's, it's getting deleted after this program is done, okay? So, um, your time to work out and then um, um, photos. Um, 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 photos, you're gonna do pre and post. So you wanna be in some tight clothing and you're gonna wear the same thing in the beginning. That's my dog uh, sneezing, sorry. Same thing um, at this time frame and then at the end of the challenge, wear the exact same clothes. A lot of people might wanna do, since it's, it's getting into swimsuit season, your swimsuit. I think that would be a really, really good one to do. Otherwise, I like to do a sports bra and um, um, either spandex sports or shorts or um, a capris, um, like my ugly capris here. So I just do a full length mirror and I take a photo with my iPhone. You can have a family member do the photos too. Full length, so I want a full length, forward, and then from the side. And you can do as many as you want, but those are the two I would like to see. Um, well, I would like to see you do. If you are not comfortable sharing those two photos with me via email, I will take your word for it. So honesty matters. Lightning will strike you down if you're not being truthful with me. So um, um, please, um, you don't have to share them, but but, and again, it's another way to put yourself out there. And it helps me 
see if you're having struggles during the challenge. Um, it just kind of helps me see your body shape too, where I can say, okay, um, I see what you're talking about. You're really bloated here. Um, I can visually see it. Um, let's talk about that. That does help me actually. Um, the other one we're gonna do are, th are three circumferences. I have a video in the members only section on circumference measurements. There's three measurements, hips, natural waistline, and chest. I'm only gonna have you do three for the ease of the program. Um, if you do not have a tape measure, you may need to get one. Target, Walmart, I bet you like a Joanne Fabric. Um, I'm sure like even a Home Depot has just a plastic cheap tape measure. You can also get them on Amazon. I need, I want you to do the measurements by, I'm gonna give you till Tuesday to do the measurements and the photos only because the measurements, especially if you don't already own a tape measure and you wanna go buy one or order it from Amazon, um, you might need a little bit of time. I should have maybe told you this a while ago. Sorry about that. This has kind of just come to me recently. Um, but like Amazon, if you have Prime, you can get it in two days. So um, that gives you time. But the exercise portion, which we're gonna talk about right now, I'd like you to do this on Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, because Monday and Tuesday are optional detox days, and those are not days I want you exercising. You're not gonna feel like it, you're not gonna do your best. Maybe on Monday morning, that would be okay, um, but nothing after Monday morning. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to do this workout, okay, because I want you to give it your all. So, here's the story. I have four exercises. You're gonna do each for a minute, okay? Each for a minute. Now, you're gonna give me your total time for doing these four exercises, the, just, just one round. I want your time, how long it takes you. Now, some of you, it may just take you four minutes because you don't have to rest between the exercises. But some of you, you may have to take a rest before you start the next, the next minute. So I still want your total time. So, you know, it's probably gonna be anywhere between four, for some of you who are in really good shape, all the way up to seven or eight minutes or something like that, depending on how much rest you need between the exercises. But you're gonna set your clock for one minute for each exercise. And um, these are the four exercises. Air squats are just, everything's body weight. Body weight squats, then push-ups, then a sit-up or a crunch, and then a burpee. And I do have modifications. So whatever you do as a modification today, you need to do at the end. So what you do today, if you do push-ups on your knees, then you need to do push-ups on your knees at the end as well. If you're gonna do push-ups, um, um, full push-ups, and then go down to your knees, you kinda have to try to um, remember how many full push-ups you did and write that down quickly and then how many you did on your knees. So you might have, there might be some thinking involved. I apologize, I don't know any easier way to really do this. But you're gonna send me your final time as well as your total, total, number of reps. I don't want reps just for squats. You can keep all of that if you want, but I want a running total of how many reps of these exercises you did. Okay, so body weight squats. You think about sitting into a chair. You're just gonna take it down and stand it up and squeeze. Take it down, squeeze. You notice my knees are about 90 degrees or a little less. You need to go down as much as possible um, without your knees hurting, but you wanna make it a squat, okay? So, belly button pulled in tight. Really think about putting your weight into your heels. That is your squat. How many of those you can do in a minute. Then you're gonna go to push-ups. We either have, I hope you can see this, we either have full push-ups, and I want you, it's chest to the ground as much as you can, none of this. Then you need to put your knees down. And I, actually, I'm doing this on a hardwood floor. Um, knees, I'll do it real quick, but this will kill my knees. <laughs> knees are right here, belly button pulled in, take it down, press it up, chest to the floor, chest to the floor. Keep that belly button in, hands are about shoulder, uh, to, shoulder uh, width apart or a little further, and um, that's the most important thing, get your chest to the floor. You rest when you need to during these minutes, so that just affects how many reps you get. The crunches, okay, or the sit-ups. I want those of you who are in pretty good shape, you're gonna do a full sit-up. Let me show you this way. And it's a little different, so watch me here. You're gonna touch the floor behind you and then come up and touch the floor in the middle. So take it back and up 
all the way up, okay? If crunches, if that kind of setup is not good for you, then I want you to do crunches. You're gonna put your hands up, and you're just gonna reach up, okay? Lifting your shoulder blade off the ground. So that is your, um, that is your, um, your um, substitution if a sit-up is not good for you. And then we have burpees. So a regular burpee, a regular burpee would be down, kick it out, bring it up, small jump. That's new for some of you. I don't always add that jump, but I want you to here. So take it down, in, small jump. If you need to modify, what you're gonna do, this is a modified burpee, it's kind of a walkout. Hands down, walk it out, walk it in, stand up, that's one. Walk it out, walk it in, that's two. Okay, those four exercises. I hope this makes sense. As always, email me if you have questions, but this is so important. I hope you take this challenge. Um, let's get the exercise portion done by this weekend and then the photos and the circumferences by Tuesday at the latest, okay? And do those in the morning um, when you haven't eaten anything. It's a lot better. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, you can also do the, the photos and the circumferences on Sunday if you want to, okay? But you need to email me the results of all of that, and then you'll be entered into the raffle. All right. See you later. Until next time. Bye-bye.